All right, I want to show you just briefly how to create an exponential equation from a geometric sequence. So I forgot to write this here. exponential equation from a geometric sequence and here's how it goes. First, we want to identify what the pattern is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the terms in my sequence and I'm going to divide it by the previous term. Okay? So divide it by divide it by the previous term. This only works if it's a geometric sequence, so just watch carefully. So 2 divided by 1 is 2. Alright, we're going to do it again. I'm going to take 4 and divide it by the previous number, which is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Oh, that's the same so far. Uh, that works. 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4. And that's also 2. So, as you're going through this, you can tell, and some of you can tell right off the bat without doing this trick, this is a geometric sequence. Also, what you can tell is we're multiplying by 2 every time. We're doubling. So we would call this the common ratio. All right? The common ratio would then be 2. So common ratio is 2. We're doubling it every time. All right, what, what does that have to do with anything? Well, because I know what the common ratio is, and I know you should know, an exponential equation is of this form, okay? I have two components that I will need. I need the initial value, okay? And I need the common, or excuse me, the common ratio. So this is the initial value. This is the common ratio. All right, well, the initial value in this sequence is one. So that's pretty easy. The common ratio is 2. Also quite easy. Raised to the x power. So the equation for this particular sequence, 1 times anything is anything, is 2 to the x power. All right, well, let's do one that's a little bit more complicated. All right, so here I have another sequence. We're going to use the same trick and try to find its common ratio. I already know it's geometric sequence. So we won't establish it. So take this first term, 12, divided by the previous term, 4, that gives you 3. All right, good enough. 36 divided by 12, that gets you 3. All right, I'm seeing a pattern here. Let's try 108 divided by 36. I may have made a mistake here. I did this one quickly in my head, but I hope I didn't. It should come out to be 3. All right? Now, the common ratio here will be 3. I'll write that out. Common ratio of 3. Well, if the common ratio is 3, well, let's set up our formula and see how that fits in. The common ratio is always the B portion. So the common ratio is 3. And it's raised to the x power. But what is that initial value? Well, the initial value in this particular sequence is 4. So it goes right there. Now, I leave it like that. Over here, 1 times 2 to the x is just going to be 2 to the x. 4 times 3 to the x, I can't simplify that one. I can't do 4 times 3 because 3 is raised to the x power. I can do 1 times 2 to the x because 1 times anything is just anything. It's a rule that we have to want. But here I can't do that. 4 is 4 and it complicates things. So I have here 4 times 3 to the x power. And I have to stop there. That's my equation. Okay. So there is your brief tutorial on how to create a geometric, or excuse me, uh, exponential equation from a geometric sequence. Um, and this also works in tables, which I've done a little preview using a monster example. So good luck.
hope that it helps. Um, and if it doesn't help, please come see me in class.